we used to try and go around the record shops and find cheap records. So that started probably 30 years ago and then obviously that developed as you get a bit more money as you get older and being able to buy more records and stuff. So and when I was refereeing I'd be in different cities and visit other record shops and then you know try and buy a few records. Yeah. I quite like the, the sort of ambience of uh, Hidden Leaves, so it's always vibrant. And I think it should have a record shop, it's where a lot of students are here. And um, so it just was an ideal opportunity for us to open a shop, a coffee shop, and then turn it into a bar as well. So just trying to make it as um, a bit of a destination for people to come and get records. Obviously when a, when a new band brings a record out, they want to try and sell that record. So by doing a gig, more people might buy the record if they can see the band play at the same time, so that's how that's developed. And then we moved into supporting local acts and our own record label, so yeah, it was um, that's how it evolved really. Like anything, I wanted to see how easy it was to bring out a record. Um, so we started our own, own, own record label and found an act that we really liked and wanted to support, and then we had the launch probably two weeks ago down the brood now, that was good. Yeah, so this is our uh, first release on the uh, Vinyl Whistle uh, label. Um, it's a band called the Mega Happy Band. Um, they're from Leeds. They sound a little bit like the Smiths. And actually, Ben over there, if you just, can you, can you see Ben over there? Ben plays the drums in that really badly, obviously. No, he's a very good drummer. Um, and we had a sort of album release launch at the Brudenell uh, two weeks ago, which went very well. The uh, sales are going well. Um, so hopefully we're going to bring a new, um, a new sing single out, a seven inch single with a band called Caracana over the next couple of months. Uh, vinyl at the moment is quite, it takes a bit of time to press so it's like three month walk in time. So you've got all the artwork and everything and the recordings and getting everything lined up. So um, hopefully in three months time we'll have a new release on, on the label so keep your eyes peeled for that. So I'm Ben, I'm the store manager. Um, how I got into working here, I think I came in like one of the first days we were open and worked here part time for a bit and then from then I just got full time hours and helped out more and more. Um, and it's good from working here because you get to listen to new music all the time. I think working here made me have a greater love for vinyl uh, just because you get to see loads of different music. Like, I learned so much about different music. So. I think since we've been open here, like we've got to know lots of people who like music, not necessarily work in music, but just love music and love going to gigs and that's where we've learned more about different music as well and bringing in different music into the shops. So it's good to have people come in and you learn from them as much as we tell them what to buy as well. <laughs> yeah, so we've got some really good, exciting things coming up for the shop. So. We've got some big acts coming up, so we've got the Sherlocks, um, who are a really good band uh, from Sheffield. They're playing in the store in January, and we're just about to announce at five o'clock, Yard Act, um, who, are, who are massive at the moment. They'll be coming to do a, a, a show for us. And then, football related, we've got an evening with myself and Martin Atkinson and Mike Dean and Johnny Phillips from Sky, who will be coming in to talk about football and we'll be inviting some students in to uh, come and listen to some stories about football and what it's like to referee in the Premier League. So uh, yeah, lots of things to look forward to as we lead into Christmas. <laughs>